what is happening i am minnesota vikings man 28 and today i'll be making my week 11 nfl picks um the this just really getting down to the wire um games are mattering more and more to see um which teams are making the playoffs which teams are not um and we got, I mean, we got some good games coming down the stretch. And we got some good games this week. So I'm ready to predict some games and to also watch them um, afterwards. So, yeah, very excited for that. But first, let's look at my Week 10 um, picks. Um, I went 9-5, not the best of weeks. I was hoping to have a good enough record to have 100 wins overall by the end of last week. But that wasn't the case. Overall, I am 97 uh, 49 and 2. So, not exactly 100 wins, but I'll look at my 100 wins by the end of this week. I, I have to, basically. So, yeah. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, bye week, uh, f f teams are Bills, Browns, Dolphins, Patriots, Jets, and the Niners. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. So first we have Thursday Night Football. Packers Seahawks. I'm very excited for this game. Um, this is definitely going to be one um, that could determine a wild card spot. Honestly, um, Packers played very good last week against Miami Dolphins. They ran the ball, which I was surprised about, um, and that that led to them six in, to succeed. So good for them. Um, the Seahawks. Played a very close matchup against the Los Angeles Rams, um, like they did in the, uh, their other matchup with the Rams. So they they can be very competitive with some with some good teams, and especially considering that Green Bay has to go to Seattle, which is a, pl a place that has, they haven't been very successful, and it's going to be very difficult with that crowd noise. So I'm picking the Seattle Seahawks to win this game. Next we have the Steelers and Jaguars, a game that was. Supposed to be on Sunday Night Football, but then got flexed to a new game. Um, I'm just saying that since, since I'm picking the Steelers, because the Jaguars are on the decline right now. So Steelers. Um, next we have the Bengals and Ravens. Bengals getting slapped uh, by the New Orleans Saints game. 51 points scored on them. Yuck. And the Ravens are just... They have good defense, uh, but quarterback's questionable. Offense is questionable, but nevertheless, if you have, as long as you have a good defense, I'm choosing you. So Baltimore Ravens are winning this game. Next we have the Cowboys and Falcons. Now, um, contradictory to my last pick, um, I'm going to choose the better offense in this one. Um, I'm choosing the Atlanta Falcons to win this game. I do think Cowboys do have a better defense. Um, but just not a good enough defense to beat a high-powered Falcons offense with Matt Ryan and Julio Jones. So, and I mean, I know Ezekiel Elliott's probably getting a lot, get a lot of yards against the Falcons, but I just feel like Falcons at home um, will, will have a better day than the Cowboys. So I'm picking the Falcons. Next we have the Panthers and Lions. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to pick the Carolina Panthers. They just have a better overall team in their offense with Cam Newton, Chris McCaffrey, Greg Olson, and then, of course, um, the, de the defense. So, and compared to the Lions, Lions have just, have just been eh. That's all I can say about the Lions. They've just been meh. And that's how they've always been. Matthew Stafford is always there. Always tries to do his, his best, but then the rest of the team just fails him. So, yeah, I'm picking the Carolina Panthers to win this game. Next, we have the Eagles and Saints, which, you know, should be should be a good game. Um, but it could definitely be lopsided toward the end. Um, I'm picking the New Orleans Saints. They're at home. They have the better offense. Kamara, Ingram, Breeze, Thomas. Too much for the Eagles to withstand. So I'm picking the New Orleans Saints. Um, next, we have the Texans and Redskins. Should be a very good game. Texans coming off a of bye week, but also um, they have a six-game winning streak. And then the Redskins um, won against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 
16 to 3. So not too many points scored against a bad Buccaneers defense. Um, and saying that, I think the Texas defense has improved a little bit. Well, it has improved over the time. And um, and their offense, I mean, their offense is also playing much better. Um, I'm picking the Houston Texans to win this game. Um, I, you know, I, wa- I, wa- I would like to see the Redskins win, of course, always. Um, always cheering for Adrian Peterson, but, man, I I gotta go with the obvious, well, it's not obvious, but, you know, what I feel like is right to pick, and I think it's the Houston Texans. Next with the Buccaneers and the Giants, and a very unbearable game to watch. Let's just admit that it's an unbearable game to watch. Um, (sighs) Ryan Fitzmagic, not show up. While Eli Manning did show up against the Niners, and Ryan, Ryan Fitzmagic thought he would do something against the Redskins. Only three points against the Redskins. Man. Mm. Um, Buccaneers defense did play good against the Redskins, but I feel like... I don't know. I'm picking the Giants. I mean, I really don't want to go more in-depth into this game. It's not worth my time. Next, we have the Titans and the Colts. Titans beat the New England Patriots. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give much joy to all the other 31 NFL teams out here. Um, And the Colts beat a very struggling Jacks team. um, Barely. Um, And you know what? I mean, this should be a close game, but... I'm going with the Titans. I want to reward the Titans for, for being the Patriots by I'm gonna pick by picking them this week to beat the Colts. Next we have the Raiders and Cardinals. Another unbearable game to watch. I got the Arizona Cardinals. I think the Raiders are playing for that first pick in the draft, and first pick they'll probably get. Uh, like Cardinals defense, and that's how they're gonna win the game pretty much. So, yeah, Cardinals. Next we have Broncos and Chargers. I'm going with the Los Angeles Chargers. Make sure I said that correctly because I always mess up. Sometimes I say San Diego Chargers, Los Angeles Chargers over the Denver Broncos. Um, It should be closer than what people expect. Um, But I do think the Chargers are like the second or third best team in AFC. They're only they're the fifth seed because they're the behind the Chiefs, but I think they're a very good team, very underrated team. Offense is play, is very good with Phil Burrs, Melvin Gordon, and Keenan Allen. Um, defense is it's 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 it's, it's good. Um, could be better, but you know it's it, it's it's good enough to get them to record that they have right now. Broncos, uh, I don't know their offense. Keenum, I mean, I wish I could wish him better luck, but eh, not doing so good right now. And probably their best uh, person on offense is Philip Lindsay, um, the running back that um, I have in one of my fantasy leagues. So he has been doing very, very good. Um, Broncos defense, I feel like is better than the Chargers, definitely. But... And, uh, I was about to say Chargers playing at home, but L.A. teams don't have home field advantage. So, uh, <coughs> sorry, but I'm picking the Chargers nonetheless. They have the better overall team. Next, we have Sunday Night Football, a game that was flexed. Vikings-Bears. I was so happy when the Vikings and Bears got flexed on my Yes, two. We're gonna have two straight Sunday night football games. I'm very excited about that. Um, Vikings going to Soldier Field, a very tough place. The Vikings can somehow they can't win in Soldier Field. I mean, lately they've been doing it under under Mike Zimmer, but just overall, when you look at the history, it's just very hard to win in Soldier Field. Um, and the two wins that we got in Soldier Field with Mike Zimmer were a field goal by field goals. So it's a very tough place to play in. 
Bears defense is very good. Um, but I think our defense has also stepped up to that level so far. And then it really all comes down to offenses. Um, and the better offense is going to win this game. And it's the Vikings. I think, um, I know with the, there's been, there's, we don't know how bad the injuries are. Um, but I think Adam Thielen is definitely going to play. Stephon Diggs is definitely going to play. And if Diggs and Thielen both play, then um, Thielen will probably have a, a good a good game. And, um, yeah, and then the Bears, um, Tariq Cohen has definitely assumed the being the better running back than Jordan Howard. Trubisky, I don't know what he's been doing, but he's been looking pretty good. Um, but... Overall, as an off offense, I like the Vikings' offense more with Diggs, Thielen, and Cook. Cook returning, and I think Cook will be also that X factor um, to beating the Chicago Bears. So I'm picking the Vikings to beat the Bears. Next we have Monday Night Football: Chiefs and Rams. It was originally supposed to be in Mexico City, but then it got changed to LA because of field conditions in Mexico City. Um, Chiefs and Rams. Oof. I like the Rams. I don't know. I, I, I know I shouldn't get got into it, but like, I'm, I don't know. I just have a feeling like I like the, I like the Rams better than the Chiefs. I feel like the Rams have a better defense. Both these offenses are very good. But I feel like the Rams have mu much, many more weapons. They got Woods. Um, they got, got well, they got Gurley, Goff. Um, Brent, Brent, Brent Cooks had a thing about the other one. And they have much better defensive players like, like Don, Donald and, uh, and then other, other people, um, and Nanamakan, Nanamakan Sue. Yeah. Um, and the Chiefs really on defense, um, they haven't been doing so good, so... Um, I like the Rams to win this game. This has been Minnesota Vikings Man 28. And as always, Skull.